Uh, Darren, first to, to start off, having had a look at Tuesday and, and what happened there now in the cold light of day, what have you perhaps taken from that that you can use going forward? Yeah, we re reviewed the game. Uh, on the stats, I think they had an 11% chance of winning the game on, on stats, but stats aren't everything. We had a high number of opportunities to, to score goals, whether that be end product, finishing product, that uh, we didn't get going, so it was a, a frustrating evening for us. And uh, as we said on the night, it, it isn't just about centre forwards finishing off chances. It's it's about everybody. It's approach play. It's midfielders taking chances and creating things as well. Of course it is. Yeah, and and, and the games of football are always won on on fine lines, fine margins. Any any manager will tell you that. And uh, we didn't quite get that right on Tuesday. Pretty much in control. I think they only had 13 touches in our penalty box. We was in. In, in control for the majority of the game, but didn't, we didn't have that all-important end product. I just want to ask you about a couple of players. One, Sammy Robinson. A lot been asked of him the last couple of games. Very young, playing on the on the wrong side. How have you made of, of how he's done? Sammy's done okay. Yeah, Sammy's done done good. Uh, one of our younger players, one of our, what I call our development players. He's uh, he's played a few games this season. Um, we keep keep growing. Uh, the, the, these are lads that uh, they're getting one or two opportunities now to show me what they're capable of in in this division. And uh, when you come to, to mould a younger player into what you want, what are the priorities to try and get right with someone who is, to a certain extent, still quite raw when it comes to first team football? Yeah, I mean, f first and foremost, Robbo has tremendous technical ability. Obviously, his Man City background does that, so we have to improve the defensive side of his game. But also, when he's going forward, do what we see every day in training. You know, he's, he's a confident lad. He. Uh, he takes things on board and he's, he's, a good, he's a good lad to work with, so just keep trying to grow all aspects of his game. Is it hard to take out an experienced pro like Mal and, and, and then put in a youngster like that? No, I wouldn't say it's difficult. Uh, I think players come the end of the season like to think that they've had the opportunity to show me what they're capable of at this, at, at, at this level and, uh, and then it's... It's my decision of what I think is needed moving forward. Uh, we uh, we sit here 40 points with with uh, 13 games to go. I think that's a very good achievement to be there so far, albeit we're not happy with our current form. But we have 13 games and 13 opportunities for players to, to show me what they've got from now to the end of the season, to, to finish as high as we can. Sorry. Where did that forty-point mark kind of sit for you when you wanted to be at this stage of the season? Well, I'm, I'm realistic. I always want more, but I am realistic as well. And I think you know, like I said before, in the last three years, I think the club finished nineteenth, and the other two got relegated to the teams that come through the playoffs. So we, we're certainly doing a lot better than what what other teams have done so far. But we we've, we've still got a, a a quarter of the season left to go, and we want to finish as as best as we possibly can and, and, and work on all areas of our game to, to finish as high up with the league as possible. In your experience of managing this division, how vital is this time of the season where you're approaching those last <laughs> few games to try and you know just either solidify or kick on? What, well, you're always the... learning. You're always learning. Uh, learned plenty about the division this season, uh, what we need moving going forward. Um, and, and there's still questions to be answered from, from, from certain players and, and seeing how they perform at, the, at this level to try and hit the levels that we need. To, to try and get to the higher reaches of this league, which is very difficult. I mean, we, we talk about Bolton, who we, we're going to go and play Saturday. I think we've spent nearly a million pounds on the strike force. The the league's the toughest league it's, it's been for a, for a period of time with the sides that are in it. We're, we're competitive. We're competitive. We, we, we're we frustrated, like I said, about our recent form. We're frustrated that we didn't build on a, a great win on Saturday on Tuesday night. Our probably performance deserved and warranted more, but we didn't get that. So we go into another game where we, we are the underdog uh, against a Bolton team that's trying for the automatic places. Just a quick mention for Matty Taylor. Could have had a couple of goals in his first couple of games as well, couldn't he? And you can see what he brings to the team at the moment. Well, they're both on side, so that's a frustration. And, and there's your fine lines and your fine margins on, 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 on goals because if it's VAR, they both both their goals count. So that's football, though. We, we take that. We, we move on. Matty... 
I think he's already shown glimpses of what he's capable of. He sniffs goals out, he sniffs opportunities out in the penalty box and he's proven at the level for a, for a period of years. Finally, just as you've said there about Bolton, um, lots of teams this season we've noticed have been big, physically big, and they don't come much bigger than that lot, do they? So uh, when you know when you're confronted with that now, how are you and the, and the rest of the coaching staff dealing with maybe the extra physicality? That well, well the top teams have the old, the old skill set. They have physicality, they have pace, they have strength, they have strength in depth, they have all of it because their their budgets allow that. That's that's football. Uh, we 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 try and reach those levels different ways. We have to as a football club. They have to try and get out the division because it's Bolton. You know they're a Premier League team uh, a few years ago. So different aspects, but but sometimes the underdog does win. We've shown that at Plymouth and Derby this season that we can put in good performances on the road against top teams. So we will try and do the game exactly the same tomorrow. Thank you. Dan, obviously in the College Morning fixture you showed and uh, proved you, you can compete with the better teams in this area and Bolton are certainly amongst that. But defensively they're pretty solid, aren't they? Despite the fact that obviously they lost their man in the corresponding game, but they are a strong side across the pitch, aren't they? Yeah, they've got, like I said, strength in depth, good good side. They've, they've been in the, the top six for the majority of the season. They, they're trying to chase down those automatic places. I expect them to finish in the top six, but uh, we have to concentrate on our performance. We're very, very aware of their strengths, uh, but also every team has a weakness as well, so we're trying to exploit that. Um, no doubt it'll be a good atmosphere at the game. No doubt we'll, we'll take plenty of fans up there and uh, we're looking forward to the occasion. Where do you see where you've got to really put your imprint on because it's an away game and you have competed in most of the games you've already alluded to. Is it difficult when they've got maybe the home advantage or don't you see it like that? Oh, listen, uh, I think the boys can take confidence from, from a couple of great away wins at Plymouth and Derby. I think we can uh, look at that and look at we've achieved that before so why can't we achieve it again against a, a top six team? So uh, we'll be going there. I have no doubt my lads will be full of confidence. Um, we'll get we'll get after them. We'll try and win the game. We'll not be going up there to, to soak up pressure, that's for sure. We want to get after teams like we do and try and uh, have that final product in the in the final third and make sure we're tight at the back. They played a couple of days ago, of course, so, so I suppose it tells you the strength in depth that they might have as against the strength in depth you have. Does that make any difference? Well, they're on, they're on a real positive high at the minute, aren't they? They're winning football matches, they're going to Wembley, um, they're, they're a team now that's ready to, to, to get into that top six and try and move to the next level. So we know it's going to be tough, but games are there to be won. But you've created a lot of chances. Is that a frustrating point that you've never... Put the end product away it's, consistently. Yeah, right? I've been frustrated. Yes, of course, I, of course we are. We are as a group. We the review of the game after the game. There's a lot of frustration in the camp because we, when you're dominating the majority of game of football as we do, you got to you got to score goals, and that's something at the top end of the pitch where we haven't looked after that final pass, that final conversion, to make sure that we've scored more goals. But uh, tomorrow's another day. We're looking forward to 